What's going on guys? Welcome to week five of the Going More Marathon prep. I just wrapped up six easy miles. I had six miles, 47 minutes, four seconds at a 750 minute per mile pace. In this video, I'm gonna be going over all my favorite running gear plus my one mile PR. So let's get into it. Alrighty, I have been wanting to do this video for a while. Today, I'm gonna to break down everything I use in my training and then what I plan to use for the Going More Marathon. I've been using most of this stuff for the better part of a year. Um, so I've had lots of miles, lots of hours using all these things, fine tuning my gear and figuring out exactly what I like. So first, I don't ever run without a hat. Have you seen my hair? It's terrible. So when I'm running, this is my go-to Hat, it's the uh, Bear Performance Nutrition Endurance Hat. I love this thing. Um, it's got their logo on the front and then on the strap, it says go one more. It's still a little sweaty from my run this morning. Next, uh, my socks, not that exciting. Um, these are just the Saucony, I don't even know what they're called. They're, they're from Saucony. I got them free with a pair of shoes I bought from them um, and I've just been wearing these. Next are my shorts. It really doesn't matter how cold it is outside, I'll still be running in shorts, that's just how it is. So I've got three pairs of these Nike shorts. I tried to find the name of them. I don't know what they're actually called. This is my favorite pair probably. It says Nike Trail. Got some cool colored uh, strings on there. I've also got these Nike Trail ones. They're like army green and black. And then these ones are just plain gray Nike running shorts. The reason I like these shorts so much, one, they, they fit pretty good. Um, I wear a size medium. Also, they have front pockets, um, and they also have a back zipper pocket. I don't know if you can see that, to put keys or credit card or anything like that. Next, I'll go over some of my um, recovery tools. So this, I cannot recommend this enough. If you're gonna buy any recovery tool for running, I would recommend a lacrosse ball. Um, they're like four or five bucks. You can get them at any sporting goods store. Walmart probably has them. Um, I basically just roll my foot out with them um, after every run. This has healed my shin splints, which I know are, are a big problem for a lot of people. It helps my feet feel better. They're uh, less sore the day following a run. It literally takes like five minutes. Just roll out your foot. This thing is a game changer. This I don't use as much, but I definitely use it a good amount. This is just a muscle roller. so. Just like that, roll out your quads, hamstrings, get the calves. This is super nice, super simple, like 10 bucks on Amazon. Also, I will put links to all of this stuff down in the description if you would like to add it to your training as well. Next is my Nathan ExoDraw insulated handheld water bottle. I usually use this thing on long runs, anything more than like 10, 15 miles. Um, I'll put water in there, I'll put Tailwind, I'll put G1M Sport. It's also got a little elastic pocket here um, where I can fit my phone or my keys. Yeah, this thing is super simple. I think it was like 50, 60 bucks and I use it quite a bit. And then for trail running, which I know this is all marathon prep, but next year I'm also running a 52 mile race. So right now, once a week, I still like to mix in like one trail run. So when I do go on trail runs, I'll wear this. This is the Solomon Ascents. Pro 10, that's a running vest. I had a cheaper running vest um, and I didn't care for it too much. This one is a little pricey. I think it was almost $200, but there's so many pockets on it. Like I, I don't even use all the pockets. That's how many there are. I can fit everything in there um, comfortably. And this thing, it fits so good and tight. I'm gonna put it on right now, just to show you. It fits so perfectly, I, I can't even, can't explain it. It's just uh, super simple to, to latch up here. Boom, it's like, it's skin tight, but you don't even really know that it's on, especially when you're running. Like you would imagine that things are bouncing around, but it's, it's a great fit. It comes with two of these soft collapsible flasks. Um, I believe these are like 16 ounces or so. I love this vest. Can't recommend it enough. Okay, on to everybody's favorite part, watches and shoes. So my watch, I got it on right now, I'll take it off. This is the Garmin Forerunner 945. Um, I believe this was 
five or six hundred dollars somewhere in that range I, I think it's the second highest uh, Garmin watch on their lineup it's super simple to use it's waterproof the battery life is great I charge it like every four or five days there's definitely way more in-depth videos on um, watches but this is what I use Garmin Forerunner 945 all right on to shoes I'm a big Saucony guy they have three endorphin shoes um, they have the pros the speeds and the shifts the pros, which are these, those are for racing and speed work. And then the speeds, those are for like everyday runs. And then the shifts, I don't have those, so I can't really speak to those, but I never, ever, ever thought that running shoes made that big of a difference. Holy smokes, put a pair of these things on and my mind was changed instantly. These things are the best running shoe I've ever put on in my entire life. They're so light, like, I wish you could feel how light these things are. And on these, on the Endorphin Speed 2s, uh, they have a nylon foot plate in them, um, giving you more bounce when you're running, so they make you faster, basically. These bad boys are the Endorphin Pro 1s, and these have a carbon fiber foot plate. And if you can see, I mean, I'm flexing that thing hard, that there's a carbon fiber foot plate in here, and it makes the shoe super, super stiff. And these things, I kid you not, will probably take 15 to 30 seconds off your, your mile splits um, just by having these shoes on. They are like having trampolines on your feet almost. Like you, it's just crazy the difference that they make. And then for the going more marathon, I'm saving these. These are the Saucony Endorphin Pro 2s. I haven't worn these at all. I'm saving these. I'll probably break them in about a week or two before the race, but this is what I'll be wearing for the marathon. And then finally, I have my trail shoes. They're a little dirty, I'm sorry. These are the Solomon Ultra Glide. Thank you, Justin Kinner, if you're watching this, for recommending these. These were only like 150 bucks, and they're kind of a hybrid road running, trail running shoe. You can see the tread on there, so there's definitely lots of tread, but they're still really light. They still have a good amount of cushion. But yeah, hopefully you guys got something out of this, and uh, we'll see you in the next place. Time for a haircut. It's gotten a little too long for my liking. So we're gonna go clean it up a little bit. Oh man. Bree is gonna hate this. Let's go show her. Do you like my new haircut? It's not bad. It's not bad? It's not bad. We got an it's not bad, I'll take it. All right. This afternoon, I'm gonna be making pecan pie protein balls. I've never made these before. I found this recipe on the BPN website and I'm gonna tweak it a little bit and add some more stuff to it um, and use a little bit different ingredients. But basically, we've got oats, maple syrup, honey, peanut butter, dates, Pecans or pecans, however you prefer. Uh, dark chocolate, chocolate chips, flax seeds, chia seeds, and BPN vegan peanut butter cookie protein. Basically, I put all of the dry ingredients into the food processor over here. I blitz it a few times, get it all nice and floury. Then I add the liquid stuff and the dates back into the food processor, and then I roll them into little balls, let it sit, and then bam, you got some delicious protein balls. I'd say they're looking pretty good so far. I just rolled them into 18 little balls. Now they go in the fridge for a couple hours and we'll check back in once they're chilled. Oh yeah, these things turned out pretty good. Nice, oh that one's got a hair on it. They firmed up pretty good in the fridge. Let's give one a try. Oh, 
those are pretty good. I'll put the uh, link to the real recipe in the description. It's on the uh, BPN website. These are delicious. All right, so I'm at the track, and today I'm going for my one mile PR. I've only done my one mile PR once in my life, and I was 12 years old in the sixth grade, and I believe I ran a 715. So the hope today is to beat that, first of all. But uh, I'm gonna go for a sub five. I have no real expectations. I mean, I don't know. I have no baseline because I've never really done this before. Um, but I'd be happy with a sub five. So uh, we'll see what happens. All right, we had one mile, four minutes, 58 seconds. Sub five, baby. My God, that hurt. That did not feel very good. But uh, did sub five, I guess, so that's cool. Uh, now I got two miles at race pace, so 6.45 pace, and then two easy miles, and then we're all done at the track today. So let's finish it up. All right, track workout is complete. Had a total of six miles today, and I am tired. That mile PR just absolutely killed me. I think next time I'm gonna go for a sub 450, maybe 445, we'll see. But uh, it's a good day today. See you guys tomorrow. All right, I'm just sitting here working on the vlog and I was way too excited to not share this with you guys. So earlier this week I had a call with BPN. They officially offered me the job um, to move down to Texas and work with them full time. And then this morning, uh, Bree and I signed a lease down in Austin. We're getting all the logistics figured out. We're getting the U-Haul ordered. We're gonna be moving down there early January and uh, I'll be starting with BPN full time. Um, the first week or two of January. So, um, man, still doesn't feel real. Cannot wait to get down to Austin, check it out, show you guys what Austin is like. I'm gonna vlog the whole move of us leaving Greenville, driving 16 hours across the country to get down there. Um, so, got a lot of exciting stuff coming up. It is a beautiful Saturday morning here in Greenville. I couldn't think of a better day to run 24 miles. So my plan this morning is right now I'm driving to downtown Greenville. I'm gonna run on the Swamp Rabbit Trail. I'll park the car, I'll run six miles out, six miles back, and then I'll stop by the car very briefly and pick up my Nathan handheld water bottle, which is filled with one scoop of GNM Sport and BPN Intra Flight. And then I'll just carry that for the rest of the run where I'll um, finish up the last 12 miles. So hopefully I don't hit that infamous wall that everybody talks about. So yeah, we'll see how it goes and uh, I'll update you guys afterwards. All right, well, I just finished up 24 miles. That was, um, that was not easy. I had 24 miles, three hours, nine minutes, 50 seconds, and a seven minute, 54 second minute per mile pace. Well, that wraps up a solid 46 mile week. I'm about dead after that one. That was a good one. I'm gonna go demolish food all day today and tomorrow 
and sit on the couch and just enjoy the pain that I'm feeling right now. One last thing, my mom is here visiting us in Greenville and she got me this early Christmas present. It's this shirt and it says, if you see me collapse, pause my Garmin. And there were a couple times throughout that run today that I thought I was gonna have to use the shirt. But anyways, thanks for the present, mom. Love ya.